Happy Saturday, everybody. Welcome back to the Leaders World. I am getting ready to go to <coughs> this consignment store called Plato's Closet. <coughs> they have uh, supposed to have a bag sale today. I've never been there. <coughs> but uh, from what I'm seeing, you can get some good items, high-end <coughs> items that will sell for cheap at Plato's Closet. So your girl is finna go on over here. I'm gonna stop at the um, bank and I'm gonna go over here and see how this works. <clears throat> as far as my reselling, I did get a sale this morning on eBay, okay? And it's been like two days since I got a sale on eBay. So y'all know I need some really uh, quick flip items that will sell fast and I'm not giving up because I know how profitable it was. I have been doing like 500 and some dollars a month, $800 a month and with 100, 222 items in the store. And those were all the good items that went quick. So I have to um, make sure that I get some good items. This go round. Ooh, child. Let me see. Let me um, get these leaves off my windshield. Yeah, so anyway, um, I'm going over here, stop at the bank. Hopefully it's open um, on my way over to Plato's Closet and see what they have. I'm going to try and take my time and review each item to make sure the item is worth picking up. Because what happened is, I'm gonna be honest guys, I can go to Goodwill, but my body cannot take being in a store, you know, too long. Like some people in there three, four hours. I have to sit down and stuff and then uh, go stand up and um, try and pick through the items and I'll get tired my legs are well my legs will start going numb um i don't know if it's just because of the weight and arthritis or whatever but i'm able to stand a little longer than what i used to i'm just keeping it real with you guys um people say oh being overweight ain't a problem i'm a big girl i'm happy all this and that that stuff catches up with you later on in life if you don't take care of it. Yeah, when you young, in your 20s and 30s, you ain't got a problem. You I, you see all these big girls dancing and dropping it like it's hot. Trust me, if you don't get that weight off, it will affect you in the long run. How do I know? I've been a big girl my whole life. I used to be the sexiest big girl you ever seen. When I was um, out in my younger days, clubbing and doing whatever, um, um, I was probably the only big girl in the club. Now you go in the club, everybody big. But when I was coming up in my party days, I was the big one in the club. If I seen another big girl, it would be very rare. And she would be dressing like a grandma. Where And then they, she would come up to me and be like, and this happened quite a few times, uh, whenever I did see another large woman out, they would come up to me and say, oh my God, you dress so nice. Where do you get your clothes from? And I would tell them I get my clothes, you know, from the same place the little people do a lot of times. Uh, this, I just go to the stretch section and I'll get the body fit and dresses. I'll put on me a girdle, pull in this gut as much as I could. And I had big, pretty legs. And so I would show off my legs. I showed off every part of my, you know, the parts of me that look good. I wasn't overly showing you know i show a little cleavage and leg that's all i ever gave cleavage and leg that's all you have to give and um so i never really tripped on my weight you know because i was large but it didn't stop me from dating it didn't stop me from being in relationships um matter of fact i kind of like being the only big girl in the club a lot of times because I would date people who had never dated a big person, but they thought I was so cute and so sexy, they wanted to date me. Crazy, right? <laughs> um, but now, as an older woman, that stuff catches up with you. It really does. 
I know that, that has nothing to do with shopping at Play-Doh's Closet, but you know, this is my channel. And like I said, life after retirement. So that's what it's all about. Give you a little this and a little that. And uh, this Saturday morning, do a little chit chat. <clears throat> so how's everybody doing? Um, what's going on in your life? Uh, leave a comment below, let me know. Um, yesterday, we dropped off uh, Oriva at Tuskegee. Um, I'm gonna put that video out once we complete the uh, whole transaction, the pickup and everything. I tried to get a, a, some video um, yesterday and some pictures. Could Didn't get do a good job of it though. Um, but it was okay. I uh, Tuskegee, the town is just a poor, poor town. Um, they don't need, the guy was telling me when we was getting gas, he said, we had a Walmart and people stole so much to where the Walmart shut down because the Walmart wasn't making money, but the people in the Walmart was making money because they were stealing and selling everything to the people in town. It's like crazy. Why would you get rid of, those were jobs that was lost because of stealing, the employees stealing. And um, it just messed up for the whole little city. And so we, we were like, well, is there any place where we can go sit down and, you know, eat? We wanted to at least patronize the people, patronize the small town. And um, why the man told us no? I mean, no mom and pop restaurants, nothing. And he said, we don't have nothing. He said, sit down. Mm -mm. He said, if you want a sit down restaurant, the closest thing we got to a sit down was we got a Burger King and a McDonald's. I'm like, OMG, a Burger King and a McDonald's. Yeah, that part right there. I'm like, so uh, on our way out after dropping off the RV, um, you'll see when I uploaded, we seen this, a truck on the side. Now, it was okay. It was pretty good, you know, um, a, a food truck. And it was called Mama's Kitchen, I think. I don't know. I think it was mama's kitchen um and so we stopped and she had these big old Poland dogs full of onions and you know sauteed onions and bell peppers and stuff but the same that she put on that on her on her um stuff that she put on her uh polish sausages is what she used on her philly cheesesteak I uh, was looking at the Philly cheesesteak, but some told me no, go with the Polar sausage. Paulette got the Philly cheesesteak. They, the sandwiches were fifteen dollars each, but they were huge. But she only charged Paulette ten dollars each, so Paulette went on and paid her thirty. She gave her thirty dollars and um, ten ten dollar tip and twenty for the uh, for the sandwiches. Uh, me personally. Like I said, they were all right. The bread was good. I don't know where she got that bread from, but it was pretty good. It was okay, but it wasn't nothing that I would make a special trip for. So that, that lets you know. Um, but it, it was nice. And they, uh, to, you know, uh, give back in the community. So it got crowded over there as we was right before we left. A lot of people wind up, uh, coming and lining up to get food. Now, I sh what I should have got was they loaded fries. Maybe that would have been better, but I had to take that polo sauce that looked so good, I had to have it. Oh, Lord. This car just pulled out, flew out in front of me. That was so dumb of him. And he could have waited. I hate when cars drive stupidly like the one just cut me off makes no sense all right guys that's it um i'm gonna come back to you in a little bit after i get finished um doing this little run okay talk to you later all right guys so i'm finally out that store i've been in there for since nine o'clock and it is 12 something in the afternoon and when i tell you guys um Woo, that was a long day and um, they did not have the fill a bag sale like they said they was going to have online so it wasn't that uh, 
Plato store. So I just went on and just shopped around trying to see what they were all about and what they had. I've never um, been to Plato's store before, but um, I did get $55 worth of items. I tried to get items that would bring me money and I was looking up every single tag I touched because I don't really know the brands, the high-end brands um, that well, and there's so many of them out there. But it seemed like everything I touched was bull crap. Um, I did find a Free People Spank brand new with tags uh, sweater, original price, $185. So it was $16. Um, I decided to go on and pay up for that. I paid up for, I think, two, two or three items, but those two or three items sell on eBay. It was showing on eBay for $65 and um, a decent sell-through rate. One of them had almost 100% sell-through rate. So <clears throat> I went ahead on and I got it. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and see. Oh, and um, while I was in the store, I had several sales on eBay. Some vans I bought a while back uh, at Goodwill, they sold. Um, and uh, another item sold um, some vans that I got that was donated to me. Some uh, that's seen on TV, they're exercise vans. <laughs> they sold as well um, while I was at the house. Uh, look like I got three sales. I may have three sales on eBay today, which is good. Um, one, well, one yesterday and two today, <coughs> I think. So I'm happy about that. And the Vendu app is working because uh, if it's sell on eBay, eBay will they will um, the Vendu delists it the item from all the other platforms. And I had put the vans on pretty much all the platforms. And when it sold on eBay, I went into Poshmark to see if the uh, vans um, were there. And they weren't. They were taken off. So I do like that. That's I've, I've been checking uh, the other sites if something sells. And if it sells on a certain platform, it automatically delists. All the platforms don't have it set up, <clears throat> don't have something type of uh, website program that they have to have in order for it to delist. So it don't delist if it sells on certain platforms. But if it sells on eBay, I notice it automatically removes it from all the platforms, which is great. So yeah, so I'll see you guys when I get to the house. I am hungry. I got to give me a bite to eat. Um, I'll eat some when I get home. If I got to eat, that's it when I'm out. <sighs> and I'll talk to you later.
Welcome back. Um, I've changed clothes. I've got I've gotten comfortable, and now we are. And I took a nap. Oh my God, did I take a nap? I needed it, so I'm not going to be on camera um, the rest of the day. But I am going to show you guys what all I got at um, Plato's Closet. My first time shopping at Plato's Closet. They had a dollar rack there. So on the dollar rack, I got these. Um, I know it's, it's, it's winter, but these Urban Pipeline shorts. Uh, they didn't have that many on there, cargo ones. And the few that they had, they uh, recently sold. So I got these for a dollar. And they were selling for like $15. I was trying to get more higher end items. They didn't really have any. I mean, every, every tag, type of tag that I looked at, it wasn't really that high end. Now this sweater right here, oh my God. It feels so good. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's Cali, Great, Cali Grapevine um, by Anthropology. And I paid up for it, but it's because it was different. It's like a mohair uh, feel to it. Although the fight, the blend is, um, it's a nylon acrylic polyester blend. It's a mixed blend, but it's, uh, it, it's the look of it. I hope y'all can, it's picking it up on the camera, um, what it looks like. And I like the buttons and this big old floppy um, uh, collar. Yeah, it looked like a shag or something, like a shag carpet kind of sweater. And I paid $12 for it. And hopefully I'll get like $35 for it. And it has these like 
funny looking pockets. So I went based on the way it looks. So hopefully it'll come out on camera uh, when I take the picture right. I gotta figure out this. I know what the material of the fabric is, but the way it looks is everything. And then I got these shorts. They were only a dollar, so I got them. They are athletic, called by athletic. And they're like the little boy shorts. Oh, and they're new with tags. I didn't know that. Mm. I didn't know they were new with tags. And they're double extra large. And they were going for like $12, $15 too. So I just grab I decided to just grab them because they were so big and they're nice. Comfy for sleeping or whatever, you know. <sighs> Now this is a free people, very heavy ribbed. Oh, this is so nice. Um, new with tags, uh, free people. Um, long sleeve. Mock. Muck a collar. Beautiful, beautiful, heavy, very heavy, nice free people shirt. And it was new with tags. Originally, this was $148 at Macy's. And Macy's put it all the way down, final sale of $19. And it didn't sell, and they had it for sixteen dollars. Yeah. So let me make sure I take this off. And it's an extra large. This is an extra large. Yeah. MSRP one hundred and forty-eight dollars. So I'm pretty sure I can get about 60 for her. She is really worth it. Oh, it's heavy ribbed. Mm. I got to really learn my material much better. This is my receipt. I spent uh, $55. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but I spent $55 and um, 64 cents. On two, four, six items. On six items. Hopefully that sweater bring me all my money back. I know it's summer, but this was only a dollar. And it's a halter top. Uh, dress, halter top dress, and um, it's a boho style type style dress, halter top by American Eagle. Um, I know the market is saturated with American Eagle, but it was just something about this, the look of this one, and I and I'm like, okay, as boho themed. It's a back out. Somebody might get it next year. I don't know, but I'm gonna go on. And, I don't. I'm, I'm gonna go on and put it on uh, sale anyway. It's hot somewhere, <laughs> and I only spent a dollar on that. That's the reason I got it. Okay, and last but not least, oh my God. Um, I spent up for this. This was $16. Um, this was my most expensive item. This is a Ralph Lauren woman, new with tags, size medium, polo Ralph Lauren. Shirt.
and it's a uh, blue blue tag see that new with tags and it has this graphic this beautiful graphic on it so in its long sleeve and that's what made me get this way it has a P on it. I don't know what the, oh, for polo, for lock, for our floor. Yeah, and look like an eagle foot. Beautiful, and it's a big old turtleneck. All right, turtleneck. And that's it, that was my last piece. So, hope y'all enjoyed this vlog for today. Uh, going along, riding along with me and going thrifting at uh, Plato's Closet. I'm gonna list these items. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So that is that Polo Ralph Lauren shirt that I told you guys about that I said I was gonna get about $65 for and I paid up for it. I paid $12 for this shirt. I just done my research. This shirt, and I didn't even notice it. I seen it had the polo tag inside, the blue polo tag, it's authentic turtleneck it's called a pea wing anything pea wing sells from 150 and up when it comes to sweaters well this particular sweater there's only a few of them out there for sale it's a 1992 pea wing new with tags and the store it came from was selling it for 398 dollars ebay only has one for sale for 400 dollars Poshmark sold one for over $285. I spent $55 in that store today. That was my golden ticket. First time ever going out looking for high-end op options. And I said I didn't get any high-end options. Well, I did and didn't even know it. Thank you. Thank you, Lord above. All right, I just had to uh, tell you guys that. Bye for now. And I'll let you know how everything turned out. If this is your first time following me, welcome to Belita's World, Life After Retirement. And this is where I take you along on my journey. Uh, if you like what you see, please hit that thumbs up button. Please share my videos with all your friends. And if this is your first time visiting me, please subscribe to my channel and if you're returning thank you thank you as always i really appreciate all the love and everyone who follows me and watches my videos uh also continue to share even if you're already a member and you're already following me you know continue to share my videos um as you watch them and remember guys you know my saying as always peace love and happiness is the only way to live. Bye for now.